I am Monica Samtani, and I'm here with my friend Chili Omar, Hello. who is the afternoon personality here at Mix 107.3 and Traffic Reporter. You work with Carson every day. Every day, Monday every through day. Friday. How fun is that? It is fun. Thankfully, it's yeah. fun because you know, after a while, <laughs> we're pretty that? much done with each other. No, I know. It's like a it, we're you're like, like a married couple, but you're. I think not. more brother and sister. Okay, well, more brother, brother and sister. She's yeah. getting married, you know. I so, am. Yeah. I am. <laughs> So you work from, well, technically, yes. you work from 3 to 7 on the air, but that's not when your day starts. No, my day starts much earlier. Um, I wanted to incorporate working out into my life, and the only way that I could really it? trust that I would yeah. do that is if I got certified to teach at the gym. So I teach a cycle class or a spinning class um, several days a week. How cool is that? So I get up early, I and I do that, and then I come back, and even you know while I'm still sweaty, I start looking online for stories. <laughs> That's and it. we do a lot of blogging here at the radio station, um, and so I'm looking for things to talk about on the air. I'm looking for things to post on my blog page. Pretty much whatever would interest me, mm -hmm. I sort of pass on to the audience in one way, whether on air or online. And that starts right away. And that doesn't end at 7, and I come home, and then as I'm unwinding, I'm online looking at stuff for maybe the next day or later that night. So it's what I, what never I find, In our conversation before, what I find interesting about that is that you are your audience, and yeah. that's why your blog is so popular. Because I think you really appeal <laughs> to that woman, the working woman. Maybe, you right. know, you're kind of looking out for what I want to know about and what's of interest to me. Right. And I yeah. know, because it was a great compliment that you would read anything that I put up there. But I read her stuff. One of it's the, good. I, you know, one <laughs> of the things that I, I was nervous about initially is how am I supposed to know what anybody cares about? You know, I, like, I still like dating things. You know, I, anything mm -hmm. that has to do with relationship stuff. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm about to get married, it still interests me. Anything that has to do with women, um, any interpersonal relationship that a woman might have with people at work or people in her life, it's like, you know what, that interests me. Or things that happen to me every day, and I'm like, I wonder if people have been through this before. Have they ever thought this before? Kind of like Seinfeld. Mm -hmm. What made it so great is that there was always a storyline that we could laugh at because we've been there before. Yes. And it sort of appeals to, keep to that. me and Correct. appeals to you. Right. It appeals to the everyday person. Yeah, and yeah. I love it when people yeah. send me things to be like, Chili, have you yeah. seen this survey? Yeah. I love it because then I'm like, absolutely, that's perfect, and I'll post it on there. Yeah. And you know, so if you have anything you know of interest, send it my way, and you yeah. never know, maybe that's show up on the blog. That's exactly right. You know, I, I wanted to ask you. Um, I love your name. It's so interesting, yeah. and I'm sure you get this question all the time, but I haven't had a chance to ask you. So, what is your background? And I'm, where does the name Chiliamar come from? I'm Armenian, 100% Armenian. Um, my parents are not from here. I was born in D.C. And raised. She's a native, I guys. Am. Native Washingtonian, and so am I. That's why we get along so well. Sibley Hospital. <laughs> um, I won't tell you what year. I don't care. 1972. Um, and I was raised in Vienna, Virginia, and I still live in Tyson's Corner, the Tyson's Corner area. But I'm first generation Armenian, and Chili was a nickname that I got when I was in high school, and it sort of just stuck. It's a great radio name, but it's perfect. You didn't want to start out in radio, and yet you have oh, this no. great radio name. What was actually your plan. My plan was yeah. to be a Broadway star. <gasps> yeah. Can we can I we really No, I can't sing. That's the problem. <laughs> I realize I oh, need to be the type I, I need to sing, I need to dance, and I need to act and um, the singing part was never going to come along. So one one of those elements was missing. <laughs> I, actually, the support from my parents was missing. Okay, yes. I think you can kind of relate to this. I can. Coming from yes. a foreign I mean, we could totally bond mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. My dad I'm said I'm the black sheep of the family. <laughs> Cause you so I am. I'm not a doctor and I'm not a lawyer. Oh, well then forget I about it. I wasted my over. brain. Oh. Um, and now they love what we do. Just, well, yeah. Oh, but and my dad still will say she would have made a great attorney. <laughs> but I'll tell you, Monica, this is a true story. Yeah. When I wanted to pursue the whole acting thing, my dad said to me, it's another form of prostitution and I will not support that. Wow. Because Look Lord knows what you have to do to get ahead in that business. And mm -hmm. I guess he was kind it of was right. It was fear. It was fear. Because I could be Lindsay Lohan or yeah. Paris or something. Um, mm -hmm. So I never pursued pursue that, but this gives me that outlet, that creative outlet to sort of, it's theater of the mind, we've heard it said many yes. times before, but it's so true, so yes. as long as I can feed that need yes. some other way, then it's all good, and I'm very happy doing what I'm doing. And look at look at your success. Chili has been on the air here at Mix 107.3 yeah. for... Well, Mix 107.3 for 14 years. 14 years, and I was at WMAL, which is our sister station here in the building, a year before that. So I've been here since 1996. Yeah. I was 12 when I started. But. <laughs> I didn't doubt that. So, in conclusion, yes. what advice would you give to someone who wants to pursue a career like yourself 
knowing that you put in something like 15 hour days, yeah. but you've been at the top rated station for as long as you have. Okay. Don't do it for money because it's not what you think it is. Right. Right, Monica? Absolutely. <laughs> you think money? we're like, we think we're like money? rolling Show in dough. Show me the money. <laughs> if you want money, you get into sales. That's yes. what you get into. You don't That's get on into the other that. side of the room. Yes. They're in the cubicles working <laughs> really hard. Right. Um, you do it because you genuinely love getting up in the morning and helping people sort of escape their lives for just a moment to make them laugh, to make them think about something they normally wouldn't think about. And at the end of the day, seriously, I am really, really happy where I am. It's in your blood. It's in my blood. I have mm -hmm. to do this. You know, I really do. And we're so happy you do. Thank you. Thank you so much for talking with me. And that's how Chili Amar goes the extra mile every day in Washington.